Yes, I'm live now. Welcome on second to another new video. This is Santu Sahu and you are watching Sahu Street Tutorial English Literature. Good evening, everyone. I heartily welcome on second to everyone. <clears throat> I hope you are all well and I'm also fine here. Do join quickly. We'll be covering quickly 20 MCQ questions for the upcoming UGC and English literature exam. Do join quickly. And uh, I think everything is okay. I am clearly audible to everyone. Even the PPT is also clearly visible to everyone. So let's begin the session without wasting your time, without wasting your precious time. Here is the first question on your screen. But before starting the session, this is my humble request to all the aspirants. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to get more notifications so that you can get update regarding the upcoming classes and those who have not joined the telegram channel please do join the telegram channel that is santu sahu ugc match you'll be getting updated regarding the upcoming classes so i mean you know i am conducting daily mock test series for the upcoming ugc net exam this is one of the finest video it's going to a very fruitful session it's going to a very fruitful session watch this session till the end i'll be discussing some important points here let's begin the session without wasting your time here is the first question on your screen do answer those who have joined you can watch this session later it will be available in the playlist as well in the live session that is the first question on your screen if you want you can join this session and make comment in the comment box so here is the first question which cultural analyst has combined the study of different dimensions of youth culture with commentary on development with developments uh, commentary on developments in cultural theory and politics Angela McRobbie, Donna Harvey, then Linda Hutchinson, good evening, then Julia Christepa, Donna Harvey, okay, Chalo. which cultural analyst has combined the study of different dimensions of youth culture with commentary on developments in cultural theory and politics, I am giving a clue, he is actually from, <coughs> he is a British culturist, culturalist theory, he is a British culturalist theorist, so it's not Linda Hutchinson, Julia Kristeva, even it's not Donna Harvey. Good evening, Priyanka. It's Angela McRobbie is the right answer. Angela McRobbie was heavily influenced by Stuart, influenced by Stuart Hall. Influenced by Stuart Hall. Okay, so Angela McRobbie is the right answer. Next question. Who is the author of the book Subculture, the meaning of style? Very important question. Who is the author of the book Subculture, the Meaning of Style? Karl Marx, Max Weber, Dick Hebich, Hebdis, Michel Foucault. The work called Subculture, the Meaning of Style. Is a work by whom? Am I clearly audible, Priyanka? It's okay now. Yeah, it's okay. So, <coughs> what would be the right answer here? It's actually D. Habich. Okay. See, exactly. Hmm. Very good. It's D. Habich has written. D. Habich has written subculture, the meaning of style. Hmm. Subculture, the meaning of style is a 1979 book by D. Habich focusing on Britain's post war youth subculture styles as symbolic forms of resistance. Okay. Hebdis emphasizes the historical class, race, socioeconomic conditions that surrounded the formation of East subculture. While subculture, the meaning of style, is one of the most influential books on the theory of subcultures, it faces a range of critics as well. Thank you for your confirmation. Next question. The novel tells the story of twin brothers. Tells the story of twin brothers. One is Waldo, the man of reason and intellect. Another brother is Arthur, who is the innocent half-wit, the way their lives are inextricably intertwined, which is the novel. The tree of man, Voss, the solid Mandela, the vivisector. You all know these are all novels by Patrick White, the Australian writer. The Australian writer, <coughs> sorry, it's a Patrick White. 
now tell me which novel is this the two brothers waldo and arthur waldo is a man of reason whereas arthur the innocent half wit and their lives are exactly it is the tree of man it is the tree of man very good very good excellent no no sorry it's not tree of it's solid mandala it's not tree of man it's solid mandala even i after seeing your answer i have told <laughs> chalo here it's solid mandala it's not tree of man it's solid mandala okay solid mandala is the right answer here the in the solid mandala patrick white draw the telling draw the telling and touching portrait of twin brothers okay one is waldo the man of reason competent man of reason he sees himself as a superior intellect but arthur accepted as half wit is the is a notion god's fool laughing and outgoing in a blundering way so that's why here the solid mandala is the i don't right answer and i think the tree of man is the first novel debut novel of patrick white you can you can you can uh, google it you can search it i think the tree of man is a debut novel of patrick white ek baar check kar lena theek hai what is the subject what is the subject of events controversial essay in brothers karmajo brothers karmajo is a famous work by dostoevsky fyodor dostoevsky has written fyodor fyodor dostoevsky has written brothers karmajo here events controversial essay what is the subject of events controversial essay here trans substantiation charge the evils of clergy the eucharist or the ecclesiastical courts brothers karmajo is a work by fedor dostoevsky and here the character is even what is the subject of events controversial essay it's not trans trans substantiation charge even of the <coughs> the evils of clergy we have eucharist and ecclesiastical courts what would be the right answer here so here the right answer is ecclesiastical that is that is charge okay ecclesiastical charge okay so ecclesiastical courts is the right answer it's d hmm brothers karmajo is a famous work by dostoevsky which of the following novels is not by patrick white patrick white has not written which novel the vivisect the tree of man the boss oscar and lucinda in which kaun sa work patrick white ne likha nahi hai which of the following novels is not by patrick white very easy and the writer is actually two times pulitzer prize pulitzer prize winning yeah oscar and lucinda which is the other work that peter carey has written and peter carey has received two times pulitzer prize for fiction one is oscar and lucinda another work is the true history of kelly gang exactly so oscar and lucinda is not written by patrick white it's written by peter carey peter carey ne likha hai theek hai and for this work he received what pulitzer prize for fiction another work is the true history of kelly gang who is the author of the novel the betrothed james valentine you all know that james valentine is famous for the work the coral island remember that the coral island is a work by james valentine okay usually questions comes from this work the matching question aata hai james valentine the coral island archibald constable walter scott hugo de lacy yeah the betrothed again it's a work by walter scott very good betrothed is a work by walter scott priyanka excellent moving up to here is the novel i've taken it from oxford university press oup i think ha huh, oxford competent english literature here betrothed the novel the betrothed a novel by walter scott published in 1825 this is the first of the scott's two tales of the crusaders okay this is the first of the two tales of the crusaders uh, uh, was so much disliked by james valentine and archibald constable that publication was suspended okay so it was suspended because uh, rm valentine and uh, that is by james valentine and archibald constable that they were they disliked that's why this publication was suspended chalo hmm and here 
taking place entirely on the wales march taking place entirely on the wales march the beat throat chalo who among the following is not a member of the scribbler clubs scribbler is not a member of the scribbler's club thomas parnell alexander pope joseph addison john gay Priyanka, have you answered C? Thomas Parnell is a member of Skibler's Club. Pope, Pope's friend John Arbuthnot, John Gay. So we have Pope, Swift, Parnell, John Gay, John Arbuthnot. But we have not Joseph Addison. Exactly, Joseph Addison is actually not a member of the Skibler's Club. Exactly, C is the right answer. Good evening. The Skibler Club was an informal association of authors. Okay, they were prominent figures in the Augustan age of English letters. Here are the members, the satirist. They are actually mainly satirist of that club. Swift, Pope, other members are or were John Gay, John Arbuthnot, Henry Saint John, Thomas Parnell. Okay, <coughs> and. Working collaboratively, the group created the persona Martinus Scribblers. Okay, they created the fictional persona called Martinus Scribblers, through which writings they accomplished their satirical aims. <coughs> the Scribbler Clubs, based in London. What is the historical events? Uh, what historical event is the novel? The abbot centered around again. This is a abbot is a novel by whom? Abbot is a novel by Walter Scott. Again, it's again a novel by Walter Scott. The abbot here. What historical event is the novel The Abbot centered around? The French Revolution, American Civil War, the escape of Mary Queen of Scots from Laws Eleven, Laws Eleven, the see the signing of the Magna Carta. The Abbot is a novel by Walter Scott. Is dealing with which historical events? <coughs> hmm. Exactly. Exactly. It's even C. The escape of Mary Queen of Scots from Lost Leaven is the right answer. Exactly. Very good. Well done, Priyanka and Abbot. The novel, The Abbot, a novel by Sir Walter Scott, published in 1820. Which is a sequel, which is a sequel to the monastery. Okay, the monastery, the abbot. Then these are all novels by Walter Scott. This novel set around the escape of Mary Queen of Scots from Laws Eleven, largely redeemed the relative followers of predecessor. Mm. And uh, here, for being the, it is for being the first sequel novel in English, for being the first sequel novel in English, thus influenced the works of Balzac. Trollope, Anthony Trollope, and many other 19th century novelists. Okay, first sequel novel in English. Shallow. Who wrote The Happy Land in 1873? It's a play, Happy Land. William W.S. Gilbert, Arthur A. Beckett, both A and B, or A. Flatwood Tom Line. Who wrote The Happy Land? Again, it's C. Both A and B. They have collaboratively written. Gilbert and Arthur A. Beckett. They have collaboratively written this play, The Happy Land. So both A and B is the right answer. The Happy Land is a play with music written in 1873 by W. S. Gilbert under the pseudonym of A. Latitude Tom Line and Gilbert Arthur A. Gilbert Arthur A. Beckett. The musical play Barlex Gilbert's musical play Barlex. Gilbert's earlier play, The Wicked World. 
the wicket wall is the earlier play by gilbert here gilbert has written under the pseudonym of a letter tom line and gilbert arthur is arthur wicket they have written collaboratively with this play what literary genre does eloisia eberald belong to this is an important work but less unknown work very important even for ugc net exam because this is a work by pope that's why the every work of pope is very important alexander pope's work that is eloisia to eberald belong to it's a novel it's a drama it's a verb verb epistle or it's a sonnet you have to answer the genre of this work and this work was written by alexander pope that's why every work of alexander pope is very important listen on work it's actually it's not a novel even it's not a drama so we have two options left verse epistle and sonnet now tell me what would be the right answer i have already eliminated two options novel and drama now tell me what would be yeah it's yeah it's verse epistle it's a verse epistle is the right, right answer okay eloisia to everald here you see that eloisia eloisia to everald is a verse epistle by alexander pope that was published in 1717 and in 1717 the third edition of alexander pope's uh, that is the work rebe of the lock published the third edition in 1717 and based on a well known medieval story it's itself an imitation of latin poetic genre chalo next question who who is not a dime of poet dime of poet is a village its name of a village dime of is a name of a village in me say you have to you have to answer who is not a dime of poet robert frost lesley ever combi rupert brook eleanor fargion wilfred wilson gibbon dime of poet during the first half of 20th century dimog is the name of a village actually who is not a dimog poet so it's robert frost is a dimog poet lesley ever combi also a diver a uh, dimog poet rupert bug is also wilfred wilson gibson is also dimog poet whereas elinor fargion is not a dimog poet here is the explanation of this question the dimog poet were a literary group of the early 20th century who made their homes near the village of dimog in gloucester in england near to the border of hertfordshire the dimog poets are generally held to have be comprised rupert robert frost Lasseless Abercrombie, number two; Rupert Brooke, number three; Edward Thomas, four; Wilfred Wilson Gibson, number five; and John Drinkwater, six. John Drinkwater, Wilfred Wilson Gibson, Edward Thomas, Rupert Brooke, Lasseless Abercrombie, Robert Frost. So they were all dime of poets. A group of early twentieth century, right? Poet. Chalo. Next question. who is the author of the novella wakefulness wakefulness john fossey joseph and mary joseph heller ashley ton the novella wakefulness keep answering do like the session share with your friends as well if you are enjoying the session please do like the session and those who have not joined the telegram channel you can join the telegram channel that is santu sahu ugc net and ugc net crash course batch is also available ugc available codes ugc net set gate and cut pg okay so here it's john fossey exactly priyanka 
the winner of 2009 2023 what is happening here i can't know why it is happening so like this so it's john fossey is the right answer oh my god चलो तो टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री नोबेल प्राइज मिला था ना जॉन फॉसी को सो so, एक फुल नेस इज द राइट आंसर चलो आई डन द वीव ऑफ माई लाइफ अ दलित वीमेन्स मेमर या नोबेल प्राइज विनर एग्जैक्टली इज अ वर्क बाई हुम हु इज दलित राइटर आई एम गिविंग ऑप्शन दया पावर Urmila Power, number three is uh, that is our Babura Bagul, number four is we have also. Vr Ambedkar. I done the wave, the weave of my life. A Dalit man mimers the work by whom? Daya Power, Urmila Power, Babura Bagul, Vr Ambedkar. Who has written it? It's a work by. Urmila Power exactly. Urmila Power has written. I done the weave of my life. The Dalit women may marry by Urmila Power. So I done the weave of my life. Our autobiography written in Marathi. It was written in Marathi. Has been translated into English and titled as the weave of my life. The Dalit women may marry. The four word was written by whom? Bandana Sonalkar. Bandana Sonalkar has written the four word. By Urmila Power, the weave of my life. The Dalit women's members. Hello. Never let me go. It's a science fiction by who is writer? Who is British diaspora writer? I'm giving a clue. British diaspora writer. Never let me go. The Nobel Prize winner of 2017. I think yeah, two thousand seventeen. Yeah, admirer of Bob, admirer of Bob Dylan, admirer of Bob Dylan. Never let me go. It's a work by. It's by. It's by Guru. Kaji is Guru, isn't it? Kaji is Guru has written. Never let me go. Which are the other works of Kaji is Guru? You can remember like this, okay? Just, just. Acronym. Just a minute. Okay, you can write in it. Uh, that is, I had made this. Uh, this acronym is like this. That H D. Yeah, Kaji Sigro. W H. So here, or you can also that uh, hill stands for remains of the hills. A pale view of the hill. Sorry. A pale view of the hills is the work, fast work. Then an artist of the floating H uh, W. Sorry, H W. Just, just let me H W H W. Okay, D H. Chalo. So here, an artist of the floating world. An artist of the floating. World, the second novel, third novel is here. That is, remains of the day. Remains of the day, and the fourth novel is here. Uh, that is, it's not, uh, it's not D, it's G actually. Sorry. Chalo, never let me go. Never let me go. Like this, okay. H W D G जो भी है a pale view of the hills इस थी को आर्टिस्ट ऑफ़ द फोटिंग वर्ल्ड 
it is a story of uh, that is i can't remember the protagonist masuji ono exactly masuji ono remains of the day it's about the story of stevens never let me go it's a dystopian novel even another work is buried giant also another work g stands for also you can also buried giant is also another work by whom okay a pale view of the hills that is the floating world events of the day never let me go buried giant also another novel by paji sigro or you can also write like the hills what day gone hills world day gone kya hai chalo और एक जो हिल्स वर्ल्ड डे हिल्स वर्ल्ड क्या है हिल्स वर्ल्ड डे गॉन चलो हिल और पेल व्यू ऑफ द हिल्स नाचिस ऑफ द फ्लोटिंग वर्ल्ड रिमेंस ऑफ द डे लेबर लेड मी सॉरी वॉज इट हुई वन दैट वर्क आई एम मिक्सिंग विथ दिस दैट वर्क या नेबर लेड मी गो एग्जैक्टली गो हिल वर्ल्ड डे गो और गॉन जो भी है लाइक दिस गो दिस अ पेल व्यू ऑफ द हिल्स इट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ स्थिर को देन नदर हिल वर्ल्ड डे गो वर्ल्ड दैट इज एन आर्टिस्ट ऑफ द फ्लोटिंग वर्ल्ड इट इज द स्टोरी ऑफ मसूजी ओनो an artist of the floating world then remains of the day it is the story of stevens the butler remains of the day the story of a butler called stevens go that is never let me go these are important works by whom kazu isigro theek hai even another work is called buried giant buried giant by kaju isigro the british diaspora writer will you remember now priyanka if you are watching hills world day go like this you can remember the sequence of kaju isigro's novel chalo i think you will remember now chalo here is the explanation you see that never let me go The 2005 science fiction novel by the British author Kaji Isigro, shortlisted. This work was shortlisted for 2005 Man Booker Prize. And you see, the novel led me go. The story begins with Kathy, Kathy, who describes herself as a carer, uh, carer, uh, carer, talking about the looking after the organ donors. Okay, the children were brought up in order to donate organ. Never let me go. It's a dystopian science fiction science fiction novel. Science fiction novel. It's not dystopian science fiction novel. Chalo. A thousand splendid, a thousand splendid suns is a novel by whom? Who is Afghan American writer? A thousand splendid suns is a work by whom? it's by khaled khaled hasini isn't it a thousand splendid sun is a work by hmm exactly a thousand Spl <laughs> splendid sun is a novel by the afghan american author khaled hasini following the huge success of his best selling the kite runner so kite runner is the first novel then he has written this work a thousand splendid suns mariam an illegitimate teenager from herat is forced to marry a shoemaker from kabul after a family tragedy a thousand splendid sons by afghan american author that is khalid hosseini okay i'll be ending the session here let good night tomorrow i'll be meeting again okay
थैंक यू चलो गुड नाइट एवरी वन सी यू टूमोरो आई विल कैच अप यू टूमोरो गुड नाइट टेन का गुड नाइट